Hi guys, this is Jazz. I don't think we can really call our channel Caitlin and Jazz Books anymore because we haven't uploaded in over a year and none of the content was about books. So, <laughs> welcome back. I guess I'm Jazz from Caitlin and Jazz. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to talk about something that's not book related, despite my bookshelf. My tattoos, which I've never really talked about because when I was on the channel last year, I didn't have any. And now I have four, so I would like to talk about those, because they're pretty cool. First of all, I just want to have like a little disclaimer, um, this was my body and these were my choices, and if you don't like them, that's perfectly fine, you're entitled to your opinion, but please don't tell me about it in the comments because you will be deleted and blocked. So, there's that. Thank you very much, and let's just get started, shall we? <laughs> so my first tattoo is the word try in cursive, and I got that on the side of my right foot. Ouch. <laughs> so I got this tattoo on April the 6th, four months ago, and since then I have had it touched up. In fact, as I'm filming this, I touched it up today, so it looks a lot better, but the photos I will show you are not fully healed yet, because I've honestly just got it done. So I got this tattoo at Cunning Fox Tattoos by Fran Tiller, who is a lovely artist and a wonderful person, and I'm very happy that she was able to do my first tattoo, she made me feel completely at ease. I highly recommend it, they do some really good art there. If I have time, I will insert a few pictures of various artworks, which I really like. The meaning of the word try. Why try it? Well first of all, um, I'm a massive fan, I should have worn my pink shirt of the artist Pink. I went to go see her in June this year and honestly, one of the best experiences of my life, I bawled my eyes out because I worship her so much as a person, as a feminist, as an artist, and as like a teenager with not a lot of confidence, she's the one that inspired me, that helped me um, grow into myself a bit. And my favourite song of hers was always called Try. It's about like, even though you're broken and bad stuff has happened, don't let it get you down, always get back up and keep fighting. And that's a message that I think that deserves to be tattooed on me for life. So it has more meaning than that. It has like layers of meaning. Layers. Um, as a teenager, I suffered with a few mental health issues, which I'm not gonna go into, um, but it's just a reminder. It's kind of like relating back to the song, but it's just to keep trying and you'll get through it even when it seems impossible and it's tough. And also, <laughs> if anyone knows me, I'm such a perfectionist. I always have to do everything to the best of my ability and it's just a reminder um, for me to try. My friend made a joke that I now try hard for life and honestly, I can't disagree with them there. <laughs> this tattoo is on the side of my foot but it was nowhere near as painful as I thought. I was expecting like me to cry and it'd be absolutely excruciating. Luckily I had Caitlin there the whole time holding my hand because that's what best friends are for. It didn't hurt as much as I thought, but that doesn't mean it didn't hurt. Like a seven or an eight, more likely an eight towards the end out of 10. The touch up that I had today was a five out of 10, that it didn't hurt nearly as bad, but it was still like, I can feel a needle going into my skin, you know? Just in case any of you were wondering, it was about five to 10 minutes, my entire appointment, um, including the design. And once they got started, like that was it. I was in and out in around 15 minutes. Like it didn't, it didn't take long at all. So moving on, the second tattoo I got is um, a circle on my ribs. Um, and it's got a swirl of colour inside it, it's blue and yellow, and it's symbolic of the Van Gogh Starry Night painting. Um, so I got this on July the 10th, and this was at Odd Body Tattoos, and Marty Mulligan was the artist that did this. All my tattoos since have been by him, because I think that he's a very talented artist. He's cool. <laughs> uh, once again, this tattoo has multiple layers of meaning. It's just like an ode to my uncle, my great uncle, who is um, a massive inspiration for me. Um, and he's always helped me and supported me in my choices that I've made. He's always embraced my creative flair and he's just an amazing man who's got so many stories to tell. I love him and he's wonderful. So originally I was just going to get a circle and I was going to get it on my foot. Two weeks before my appointment I decided that I wanted something a bit more, with a bit more flair. But I do regret the placement of it because where it is, it's always covered no matter what I do. Even if I'm wearing a bikini, if I regret anything, I love the tattoo but I wish it was lower down, just so that I could show it off a bit more. Um, so the reason it's in a circle, which doesn't seem important, but it was, um, my uncle took me on a trip to Belgium, it was a while ago, I can't really remember how long ago, but it was basically to go to the Yemen Gate ceremony that they do, to commemorate the fallen soldiers, um, and it was really beautiful, loved it, but before that we went to a restaurant, and he told me that he could do a magic trick with his wedding ring, but as he took it off, he dropped it in the restaurant, we heard it hit the floor, we got the whole restaurant up looking, and it was, honestly quite sad because his wife had passed um, away a few years previously um, and we really wanted to find it because it quite clearly upset him and there was nothing we could do because after about half an hour of searching we still couldn't find it and we had to go to this ceremony. So we went, uh, the, the restaurants that they'd call us, they were really lovely about it. When we went back to our hotel later we sat on our bed 
and then we looked under the bed because we heard something drop and under the bed was the wedding ring I know it was absolutely crazy <laughs> like I couldn't believe it, he couldn't believe it there was a 10 second pause where we just stared at each other not really sure what to say and then he said something along the lines of wow I think she gave it back to me and that like really touched me and it was just I just remember it so vividly and it just made that trip extra special that's why it's a circle to symbolize his wedding ring and that, that whole thing that that story encapsulates so the reason um, that I wanted to have an ode to Van Gogh's Starry Night painting um, in there is because every year at some point we always go to an art gallery or an exhibition that we both really want to see it's a really nice day and I look forward to it every year and this year we decided to go to the Van Gogh exhibition at the Tate Tate Museum um, and Starry Night is one of my favourites so I wanted to get that inside the little circle and I think it looks beautiful. The pain for this tattoo honestly ranged quite a bit. I'd say the outline didn't really hurt at all. That was maybe like a 2 or a 3 out of 10. That wasn't bad at all. Like it was over in 30 seconds. Mm, no, it was fine. I could do that. I was fine. However, the colour and the shading, um, that hurt. <laughs> Nowhere near as much as my foot. Um, but it still hurt. I'd say it was like a six or a seven out of ten. Like it was, it was bearable, but it wasn't. It wasn't comfortable. <laughs> but the session took about thirty minutes total. Uh, my last two tattoos I have, um, I got them together in one session. I have a lemon on my right ankle, just above my other foot tattoo. Um, so the lemon is symbolic of the trip that I just got back from um, in Italy with my family. It's the last family holiday that I will ever have before I go off to uni. Um, and it was just really special to me um, because it was sort of like a bonding time with the people that I am closest with and will soon not be living with anymore so it's just to commemorate the life that we've had together before I've had to move away um, so it's kind of like a family tattoo without saying it's a family tattoo um, but in Italy there are lemons absolutely everywhere and it was beautiful I love anything with lemons in I think anything tastes better if it has a lemon in it so technically if anything's better with lemons I'm now better because I have my lemons. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, so I guess if I'm feeling down or upset, I can look at it and be like, well, when life gives you lemons, you've just gotta make the best of it. Um, now, what I'm about to say may surprise some of you considering where I've have, I have got the other two tattoos, but I would say that my lemon tattoo is the most painful tattoo or experience I've ever had because I would say the whole thing from beginning to end was a nine or a 10 out of 10. That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. Caitlin was with me and I was squeezing her hand the entire time, probably nearly dis dislocated her fingers to be honest because I think she was in more pain than I was because I was squeezing it so tight. But oh my God, I just I was just expecting it to go, like, you know, to go into the tattoo studio, have a nice chill tattoo session, have a nice combo with Marty, because he's really lovely. Um, but no, I was in constant pain, I was making some weird faces, but there is a video of me making stupid faces. I will insert it here if I can find it. But oh my god, that was so painful. Don't get it on your ankle unless you can handle it. I have such a low pain tolerance, I don't know how I got through it. Um, the session... Um, I was there for an hour and a half, but I think the tattoo, both of them, took about 45 minutes in total. Final tattoo and the most visible tattoo um, is my tiny equal sign. It is a very small tattoo. I wanted it that way, I wanted it to be dainty, and I was also very nervous about getting one that would be visible to people the entire time. Um, and I do have a job where I have to cover my tattoos, so um, I can easily cover that with a hairband or a bracelet. So I'm very happy with the size. I, as a feminist, I want equality for everyone. Um, and that's not just women, that's marginal any marginalised group. I just think that everyone deserves to be equal. And I just wanted to show my support for that on my body forever. It's also a tiny reminder to me, um, as someone that always compares myself to others, that I am equal to everyone else. Um, I am just as worthy as anyone else. This tattoo I don't think really deserves to be called a tattoo because of how tiny it is. It took literally a minute. It did not take long at all from when he started tattooing. Um, I barely felt it. If I had to rate it, I'd say like a 1 or a 2 out of 10. It did not hurt. Um, so those are my tattoos. I love all of them. I'm very happy. So thank you very much for watching. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. Um, and I will see you soon. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, bye guys.